In this video, we're going to look at adding text labels to parts. Click Project, Add Part, browse to the Vein STL file, and import it. We're going to put a simple label onto the bottom of this boss. Click on Text Labeling. Zoom into the location where you want the boss the label to appear and click position for the label. You can adjust the size interactively. In this case, we want to cut this into the part to a depth of about half a millimeter. By default, the label is showing you the name of the model file, but we can call this anything we like. and then apply the label. Netfab will ask whether we want to remove the existing part and we can say yes or no. And there we see the label applied into the part. The next example is a little more complicated and this is where we want to label multiple items with different text on each item. In this case, we're going to import a CAD file. So browse to the cufflink.xt. So in this case, we're going to make personalized cufflinks for a number of different people in the team. Finish importing the part, and then click on list labeling. Again, click the position where you want the text to appear. And we could, for example, at this stage, say we want to make a number of cufflinks for a particular individual. So, for example, John, numbers 1 to 10, say generate. And you can see the list of different names, different numbers that has been produced. Alternatively, we can do this via a CSV file. Browse to the location of the cufflink.csv file and open it. You can see we have a range of names, Wolf, Brian, Netfab and so on. Hit OK and we see the first name in that list appear. We want this text to look a little nicer so we can change the text font and choose maybe an italic font. Again, we can change the size and orientation. And this we want to be subtracted from the part to the depth of about 0.5 of a millimeter. In this case, not only will NetFab create the single label, but it will copy the part multiple times. And each part, as you can see, will have a different name applied. 